Good morning, everyone. This is a beautiful morning. It's Friday morning. I'm out here on the porch enjoying a little sunshine, having my coffee. There we go. There we go. Says I love you. I know it's a Valentine's mug, but it makes me happy. Okay, so I drink out of it year round because it says I love you on it. <laughs> we got some um, things we'll get into in the in the kitchen today. Yesterday, um, I didn't do much filming, but I'm still going to put out a short video for you guys on the little bit that I did. Um, because I've been focusing a little bit on some paperwork. Um, it's that time of year, you know, where, um, you gotta sit down and take care of some paperwork. And that's stuff I can't video, okay? But, <clears throat> it has to be done. And, uh, I am today gonna make it a goal to go and pick up my prescriptions. Um, they did not have it ready for me when I went to the doctor. They didn't. They took their time getting it ready. I really didn't need the stuff that I didn't have, which is the test strips and the in the lancets. Um, but I'm getting. I'm down to about four lancets, so I need to go pick it up. So. Anyway, so it's a three-month supply. It should be a three-month supply, so I won't have to do it for another three months, but anyway, we'll see what I get up to today. Yeah, we'll see. All right, everyone, we're going to get in here, and we're going to get... The first thing we're going to do is we're going to empty the dishwasher. That's the first thing that needs to get done. So, it says dirty on there, but I didn't flip it over when, last night when I ran it. So, it's clean. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's get in here and get this, uh, all this stuff out of the way. Let me get. Out. You know, sometimes these um, water gets accumulated in things like this. So there we go. Let me find the pieces for this. I'm always extremely careful with the blades in this because this is a ninja, which means these blades are very sharp. me the other day um, you know what my goals were and they were interested in knowing where I plan to go with this and so right now I'm just kind of enjoying you guys um, they also asked me if I was going to give a giveaway at 3,000 people and uh, I was, I was thinking about it, like what could I give away, all right? So I'm gonna have to think about what I could give away, all right? That means I have to find something 
that I think most everyone would like. So, I might have to think on it. I can do that, okay? I can do that. I have to figure out what I'll, what would be a good giveaway. same direction. so I don't hit my shins. This goes up here. This goes on my table. Until I fill it up and use it again.
next time I use it. See? See? There we have it. The kitchen is clean. Now that the kitchen is clean, we're going to dirty it back up. I'm going to bring you in and I'm going to show you what I'm going to make for breakfast. Alright, I'm bringing you guys in to show you what I have going on here. i got the skillet heating up. I have the chorizo. This is the pork one. And I'm just going to squeeze just a little bit out of the tube here. Because that's all I need for myself this morning. And Put it back in my bag here. And the rest of this is going back in the refrigerator. And there's this lock today. Just like that. Okay. And we're going to cook this chorizo up. I'm going to get a bowl out. Chorizo has spices in it as well, okay? 
I'm going to turn this down a little bit because the next step is ready for the next step. And the next step is to add, I'm going to have my veggies in on my breakfast. So we're going to add a little. little bell pepper or this bag is labeled sweet pepper okay so mild pepper so it could be a number of bell peppers it could be I had a lot of different types of peppers growing in my garden last year and this year I just stuck the bell peppers and uh, hot peppers chili peppers Whoops. so we're going to get the peppers and the onions going. In here. Let me reach back here. Now saw me just clean this, so it's clean. We ain't wasting that little piece of onion. Onions and the bell peppers in there, and the peppers, the mild peppers. I'm gonna keep this going. up in there. I'm going to decide what plate I'm going to eat off of. I remember that nice china plate that I put away. No, it's coming back in because I want to eat off of my nice china. So that's what I'm going to do. Right. Now we have the mild peppers, the onions, the chorizo in here. I want every bit of that chorizo off of that spoon. And now Throw in the eggs over the top of that. And I'm going to let that spread all over the bottom of that pan. I'm going to leave it alone for a minute. And then I'm going to search around in my refrigerator and see if I have any little bags of cheese hanging out here that I need to get used up and I do I have some mozzarella so that's what's gonna go on my plate today the cheese is gonna be mozzarella and now I'm coming in this in. Gotta cook a little bit more.
eggs are done. this fire up just a little bit. Get that out of the way. I don't want that handle to get hot. And get the right bag out here. I'm going to toss me a tortilla right on the flame. And put some mozzarella cheese on top of that. And if you guys don't know that about me by, by now, I like my tortillas charred, okay? You don't see it catch on fire, and that's okay. In my book, that's okay. See it? It's catching on fire. That's how I know it's probably ready to flip. I like that charredness. The way I learned how to cook tortillas was on an open flame. These tortillas, the corn tortillas. We did it in the house like this. We did it on the barbecue pits outside. This is how we heated up corn tortillas. We also fried them. If we were making tacos, we fried them in oil. But I'm not gonna do that today. I am going to burn them like this, get them charred. Only want two. Look at that. All the food is put back into the refrigerator. And this, my friends, is what's for breakfast. Chorizo with eggs, onions, and bell pepper, and pep sweet peppers with a little mozzarella cheese on top and two corn tortillas. And I do think that that is done. See that? That, my friends, is what I'm gonna have for breakfast right there. Here we go. Oop. Let me get that down for you. There we go. That's what I'm going to have for breakfast right there. Hey everyone. We are heading to the pharmacy to pick up my three months prescription for my lancets and the testing strips. Okay. So let's get going. Hello everyone. Let me get my apron back on. I am back from the pharmacy. I got my next three months of medications taken care of. So I have to worry about that for the next three months. I am going to bring you in. Yes, I have boiling water there you're looking at. I'm putting my apron on. And it's salted boiled, boiling water that has been salted. And I'm gonna make one of my favorite salads. And I'm gonna use up some of the pantry things that I got from the food bank uh, last year, okay? One of the things that I have plenty of were these noodles, okay? And so I'm gonna boil the whole thing up And we're gonna see how big these noodles get 
you bring it back to a boil and let it boil for about eight to ten minutes just like you know the instructions on the back of most pasta and we're gonna see how big these get I'm making sure that the pasta didn't it's not gonna stick on the bottom And I'm gonna make a pasta salad is what I'm gonna make. And I'm gonna use some of the vegetables that I have in the refrigerator to make this pasta salad. I'm gonna use fresh um, onions. Um, I have some tomatoes that I'm gonna dice up in it. Um, not gonna use the avocado that I have in there. Um, I have mixed vegetables that I, a can of mixed vegetables, well, a jar. I canned a jar, I canned a, some mixed vegetables up myself last year, about this time last year. And so I'm going to use a jar of that in this pasta salad. And I have some dark um, canned chicken that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use two cans of that. And we're gonna make a pasta salad. A cold pasta salad. Oh, and the whole reason for this is because I have a jar of Catalina salad dressing that I need to get used up. So we're gonna use, we're gonna see how much I'm gonna use in this pasta salad, okay? But we're gonna bring this back up to a boil and we're gonna let it boil for eight to 10 minutes. And I'll bring you back. I'm gonna bring you guys in because I want y'all to see what I did. I took a jar of the mixed vegetables and put in it. And I took the two cans of chicken and put it in there. And you know, I was gonna make a pasta salad, but this has, <laughs> This has created a great pot of, of soup. Like the broth is spot on, okay? The, the juice in this is delicious and I don't wanna waste that. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this as it is. I'm gonna add, remember the parsley that I dehydrated out of my garden I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of that parsley I'm gonna put some of that parsley in there basil. I'm going to take a couple of leaves of the basil. Crumble it up in there. Maybe a little bit more. Put it in there. Guys, Those fresh, those herbs smell so fresh in here that I think this is gonna be a meal for me for the next four or five days, okay? I'm gonna freeze some of it. I'm gonna put some of it in the refrigerator. But I'm gonna call this done. I'm gonna let this sit and let those herbs reconstitute. There we go. Instead of making a pasta salad, I decided to leave it just like that. And that's gonna be a meal for me for several days. 
I let this sit for a little while just to um, let it absorb the rest of the flavor of the broth. And now we're going to get in here and I'm going to give it a stir. I wanted the herbs to reconstitute the ones that we dried this week. And now you can see that the pasta absorbed almost all of the um, liquid. And so we're gonna get ourselves a nice little bowl of it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back you up. I know my counter's busy, all right, but that's okay. It's a good busy. And then I'm gonna get some of that Parmesan cheese that I have in my refrigerator. You know, it's this, it's this Parmesan, okay? And We're gonna throw a little bit of that on top of it. And where is it? Remember the bacon that I cooked up in the oven? I am going to take one piece of the bacon and I am going to just break it up in pieces. This would be equal to chopping it on a chopping board, but I'm not going to get a knife out and all that stuff. I'm just going to break it on there. is up underneath my feet right now. If you hear the pitter-patter of his feet, he is up underneath my feet right now. Okay, and so when I'm, another thing I'm going to do is this. To add to that, I'm going to move you guys over just a little bit over here. Move out of the way, Spice. Uh, last thing I ever want to do is step on you, baby. All right. Remember, I have the lettuce and tomatoes in here. But I don't want all of it. So. Excuse me while I reach around you guys. So what I'm going to do... I have intentions of making um, waffles this morning but when I got into the I had some waffle mix powder that I needed to get used up out of my pantry when I got into into the waffle mix I look at that I left that in there I didn't like the color excuse me I didn't like the color of the mix itself the powder spice Move, baby. He is really up underneath my feet today. Whew. So I'm going to take some of this lettuce. Okay. And a cup. You know what? I'm going to add all of the potato tomatoes. Okay. And I'm going to add all the lettuce. Okay. And remember that Catalina dressing? I am going to go ahead and just 
just pour a little bit of that Catalina dressing on top of the salad that I'm making. Okay. Spice, I need you to get all the way, baby. So, I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. And this is going to be my lunch today. If I can get this open. I'm just going to pour a little bit of this dressing right on top of here. Okay. And this is going to be my lunch for today. Good evening, everyone. I'm in my office getting some work done. Having my afternoon decaf coffee. Mm-hmm. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I had a productive day. What I had for dinner today was um, oh the leftover pork stew. Um, I finished that off and the rice. And so that's what I have for dinner today. Um, Y'all have seen it a day or two. All right. So I did not record it because, you know. Same old, same old, okay, <laughs> for today. I don't mind eating leftovers at all, especially if it's something I really enjoy, like that pork stew. I don't know why I don't make it more often, because I have, I have, let me tell you what I've done, okay? I have diced up zucchini and calabaza, because some of the squash that I have in the freezer is calabaza. I have it diced up and ready to make that stew. I just don't. I have haven't been making it okay and it's one of my favorites so I think I'm going to incorporate that into my meal plans okay for the next several months um, I have the pork I got it from the food bank and I have all of the ingredients that I need I have onions I'm getting from the food bank uh, I've got peppers. Um, there's one more ingredient that I forgot to put in there um, just because I forgot, okay? And that's corn. And I do have corn. So I think I'm going to incorporate that into a rotation um, so I can use up some of the things that I have in the pantry, all right? Now, tomorrow is Saturday. And so, we'll see what I get up to tomorrow, okay? Because tomorrow is tomorrow, all right? We'll see what happens, okay? <laughs> I am going to close out this video today. I'm going to leave you some links to some um, playlists. And if you haven't watched my previous videos, please feel free to go back and watch them. I, I try to organize them on playlists for you in sequential order so that um, it's easy and by subject so it's easy for you to just click on the playlist and watch them you know and then you know save it where you're at and then go back to it I try to make it really really easy for you to do that every time you watch one of my videos whether it's a new one that's coming out or it's a previous one that you haven't seen before, it helps with the algorithm. It helps get it pushed out so that other people can discover my channel. Every time you share it, it, push it, it helps push it out. So those little things don't cost you anything but a little bit of your time, and I'm so grateful that I have so many people that are doing that for me. So... Don't think I don't recognize that you're doing it for me. Um, so guys, I'm going to leave the links here. I'm going to leave the subscribe button somewhere on here. And um, you guys be blessed because I know I'm blessed. You guys bless me each and every day.